I don't care much for ignorance. People are ignorant. I heard white boys say nigger. That's ignorant. There's no need for that. You know what I mean? Uh, in the black community, brothers and sisters eating dinner and just yelling and being just yelling for no reason, just trying to grab attention. That's ignorant. So I mean, for the most part, if I'm, I'm eating or something like that, I just I don't want to be around that. You know what I mean? There's the, I mean, there's a social aspect as well. I mean, just the the uh, it's like the real world effect, especially in this this university so small. Everybody knows everyone's business, and uh, I'm a personal person. I don't like to share that. I don't feel like everyone needs to know that. I remember there was I was eating dinner one time, and um, this kid's from like the suburbs, and uh, I said something, and he was like, "You're white," and you know I just that livid me. I got I got upset. You know I didn't show it like right away, because he has no idea what that racism is. Like you know what I mean? I have I'm half Jewish and half Haitian. My great grandmother called me her favorite nigger baby. There was times I was coming home from school. This is I lived in Southern Indiana. So there'd be times I was coming home from school and be called nigger while I have my sister with me. Him bringing up, saying like you're a white and you're a white boy because I'm light skinned, he's darker than me, but not knowing what racism is, that, that, that's something right there. This campus isn't diverse, you know what I mean? Um, blacks, so much so, I've, the black community, the friends that I do have here, uh, the ones I associate with, have become more bitter and racist towards white people. Why? Because they provoke it, white people provoke it. Um, you'll have your cases where some white kids live vicariously through black culture, hip hop and stuff like that, which I can't stand and just it annoys me, especially like you haven't been through the struggle. I feel like a lot of these, uh, these little uppity conservative kids haven't really worked for anything. And uh, they have a lot of opinions on, on us or a lot of opinions on things that they shouldn't because they haven't experienced them. And if they have, it's through media. And that's a false. Yeah, video games is a big part of that. And uh, college, like, College guys definitely play video games. Uh, Call of Duty's big and infamous for the, the nigger word. So, I mean, that pops up when they're playing video games. I'll hear nigger, or I'll hear the latest Rick Ross song or Lil Wayne song, which they feel they're totally black because they're, they're listening to the song. And I'll be walking past and I'll hear the word nigger, like, you know what I mean? Which I don't really agree with, you know what I mean? I choose when to say something. You know what I mean? If I'm busy, I'm not going to just stop and just go in there like, hey, don't say that. I mean, it's just, it's just one of them things I just acknowledge and I just shake my head and I just go on about. It's just like, uh, this campus is no diverse than the world that I've lived in so far. It's, or any place I've been in, I don't see where there's a line where this is like some greener grass that I'm on. It's the same. Do I say it worked on? I hear mouths moving, but I don't see any actions. I don't see any... I don't see anything.